guys, Dr. Noob Sauce here. This is a hookah update for the month of March. And basically for anyone who hasn't watched the last hookah update, which wasn't last month, maybe the month before that, I don't know, I forget. These videos are basically little tiny condensed videos that will basically show off some products, talk about what's going on in the hookah community, and basically what I'm up to. So the first thing in April, which I'm super excited about, is gonna be the hookah meetup in Chicago. It's April 14th, it's around seven or eight o'clock at night. I believe uh, Mason Wear is gonna be kind of sponsoring the event or kind of getting it together. Um, so Nino is gonna be there, hopefully with some Helix Bowls and some Timber Hose hookahs, which I am very interested in buying. I think the Chicago meetup, if you're not familiar with it, will be a great halfway point uh, to when we all go to Vegas and hang out there. So I'm gonna put some uh, faces to some names uh, especially if I haven't got to really talk to you yet, uh, like we always do in the Hangouts on, uh, on THL or HU. That's Hookah University, not Hookah Unbiased. Glad I can clear that up. Gregory and Dimitri, who are awesome, they had a picture of them rocking the shirts I sent them. Thank you guys. You guys are fantastic. I'm going to be probably hanging out with Travis from DMZ TV, uh, probably having a way too good of a time drinking all of Chicago's beers. Also, Jeremy and Tristan, looking forward to meeting you guys out there as well. Maybe a surprise appearance from Mr. Pipe Dream Hooker himself, Mr. Adrian Hunter, hmm, maybe? Speaking of Adrian Hunter, Matt Dezen, I'm gonna be on the AM podcast Monday, which is the following Monday from when this video is posted. So. I'm gonna put the link down below. Hopefully I'll see you guys on there and we can chat and talk about all things hookah related. Now a lovely, 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 lovely person, Ms. Jessica, sent me Hayes Coles. That's right, that's right. Hayes makes coals and they're pretty damn good. They actually, they're like huge bricks. They're massive, huge big cubes. I'm not sure if they also make flats, but I assume they do. Uh, but I got sent the 72 piece of cubes and they give off a tremendous amount of heat. Usually I like four coals on basically everything I smoke. Not needed here. These things are massive. They, uh, they give off no odor when they burn. They, uh, they do take a little bit to, uh, to heat up, but they're huge cubes. It's physics. So thank you, Jessica, for sending me these lovely coals. They are greatly appreciated. I will incorporate them into my next videos because I am using them like crazy and I'm possibly might even run out. I'm already halfway done. Now the next item I have up on the block is a Sheikah wind cover. Now did you see my face? I got angry. Now I normally use a traditional wind cover. You see a handle? You see an opening for vent ventilation? Yeah, these things work great. You know, this is like $7, right? seven dollars this thing is like 35 dollars now it looks amazing it's a nice art piece this would be great like if i made this i'd be very proud of myself the artwork is nice it's nice shiny finish but there are some problems and the first problem is oh what's that noob sauce there's no handle that's right there's no handle so how are you supposed to pick this thing up from the top. But as we all know, heat rises. This thing becomes a molten hot piece of metal. You ain't moving this. And unless you want to smoke with an oven mitt, just in case you want to take this thing off, stay away from this. Also, all the holes are punctured into this thing. Now it looks really good on camera, but if you get up close and see this in person, not all the holes are properly punctured. You could say, well, noob sauce, just puncture them yourselves. Yeah, you know what? That's not a bad idea. I don't want to do that for 30 something dollars. It should be punctured. Should come up with a handle. Stay away from this wind cover. It's deadly. You're gonna get burns. Now I was recently introduced to a new tobacco and that new tobacco is Karma. Karma is good. Say it with me. Karma is good. Now. As a AF smoker, that's right, there's some of us left. This is amazing. There's no artificial dyes in it. If you're getting grape, that's what it's tasting like, a real grape. 
Now I know Adrian would love to say, oh, a grape? It probably tastes like ketchup, but it doesn't. I actually have a bowl right here, and it tastes like a bowl of white grapes. It's very good. Very fantastic, very flavorful. Now I was able to pick up three of these bad boys. And you want to know what the best part of this is? They were $12 for $2.50. Hmm. So not only do these things taste amazing, they have a real good price. And if it's a good price, then it's a good product, looks good, also comes uh, in a nice resealable pouch, much like Fumari does. And if you were to get the uh, 50 gram pack, they actually come in two pouches. So if you open one now, make a bowl, you want one later, you want one a week from now, you want one a month from now, you're gonna have it nice and fresh. Now that's greatly appreciated, thank you Karma. This is a badass product. Oh, the next item I have up on the block is a lovely throwback to days before there were D hoses, before there were a aviator hoses, before there were all this different types of, you know, washable materials. Let's go back, you know, 10 years and let's look at this beautiful snake charmer hose. Now, I love this. It looks amazing. It's got a huge handle. Look at this thing. Massive handle. You got the snake head right there. Kind of like the cobra hose they used to have. Now, it's not washable, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Maybe there's flavors that, that you just smoke out of a certain uh, hookah, out of a certain pipe. And if you're looking for a little upgrade, for very cheap, might I add, you can get this on Hookah Dash Shisha for $7. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, $7. I feel like this is a QVC commercial. There should be numbers at the bottom, and there should be some music. But there's not. There's just me and the Snake Charmer host. This thing is fun. It's good. has a decent draw. It's not wide open. This is a throwback. It's got a nice little, like, felt. Uh, material on top of it. You can get it in about, I don't know, two or three different colors. I like it. Pick it up. It's hookadashisha.com. I buy most of my stuff from there. Good customer service. Give it a try. Now, that's basically it. Quick, fast, bunch of cuts. Quick little update video. Not flashy, besides all this behind me. So, like always, happy smoking.